This was a very strange picture to log on to. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. And I am currently clutching a bladder fish that I'm about to uh, transform into water because that's how things work around here. And we definitely need some more water. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna need to, to make this into water so that we have something to drink here and we're not gonna get too thirsty while we're roaming the ocean. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then I still have a bladder fish, apparently. How many of these do I have? Um, a lot. The answer is a lot. <laughs> um, there we go. Is that the last one? No more bladder fish? No more bladder fish. Okay. Um, how much food do I actually have? I have some peepers I could cook. And I'll probably do that. I have... Oh, that's decomposing. Um, how about we don't eat that? Um, and I have my standard oxygen tank. I have bins. Uh, what were we even doing last time we were here? It was a, a, it's been a little bit. So let's see if we can... Uh, we could cure food, but I don't think we want to. Well, we can't right now, actually, anyway. I'm going to cook some peepers, or I'm going to cook a peeper because we are getting a little bit hungry. They seem to keep better, I think, if you don't cook them. Because you can see this one. Um, like, if I look at this one, I'm not going it, to... It's not decaying. I think it's actually somehow still alive. <laughs> so, uh, we're, we're going to keep a lot of it... Um, we're going to keep a lot of it going... Alright, a lot of it, we aren't going to cook it all right away. But what I wanted to look at here, I think what I was going to do was to look at equipment, no, tools, and see what we need for the habitat builder. Yes, so we need battery, we need computer chip, and wiring kit. So what do those take? A wiring kit takes silver, which we don't have yet. Or let's see what, the other thing I wanted to see too is do we have the sea glide yet? I think that's the next step here. I played around in this game a little bit myself. Um, so we have it. We need battery, lubricant, and copper wire. Okay. So I needed copper. Or I need... We have lubricant. We don't have copper. So what we need to do is go on a copper gathering trip. Okay, I know what we're doing now. So let's drop off... Oh, we have... We have a lot of water. I think we'll be fine with the water, honestly. And we'll keep a med kit on us. We have our knife and our hot bar. Do we have another one? We do. I'm going to drop that extra one there. I'm going to carry one with me at all times. Um, and we can also leave some of this creep vine. And, oh wait, we have... We have enough to make a battery. We don't already have one, do we? I don't think so. We have enough to make a battery, so I'm going to make a battery. Um, I'm going to make here. And then we need some copper wire. So we'll need to go find even some more copper. And then we do need some of this lubricant and I think that's two of the three things we need right um we can make a grab trap but yeah we need okay we need some more of this uh or we'll need some more of the copper wire so I'm gonna leave this all here and then we're gonna head out into the world here and I apologize if it's lagging slightly it does seem a little bit laggier than usual today I don't know exactly why uh, but yeah, so hopefully it's not looking too laggy or anything for you guys. What we need to do, though, is find ourselves some copper. And that should help us quite a lot, I think. Um, that's a cave. I think we're going to want to stay away from that. Um, oh, here's something over here. We still have a lot of air. We probably can get copper out of this, I think. Yep, this is one of the ones that can give us copper, and it did give us copper. Okay. That might actually be all we need. What is what is this? What is this? This is a beacon fragment. Let's scan that. Because uh, that looks like it'd be good to have. I think that is good. Oh, and we have a blueprint for it already. All right. Um, we'll pick up some metal salvage. And I want to see if we can find any more copper. It's also turning night. That's not, uh, not, not so nice for seeing. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay. I forgot I had to breathe underwater. <laughs> um, it's so weird because you get so immersed in this world and in a weird way you forget you're underwater. I don't think I want to be over here right now. Uh, in a weird way you kind of forget you're underwater and you kind of forget because you forget you're underwater that you still have to breathe. <laughs> so that's a little bit odd. 
But we're going to make our way back this way, I think. Oh yeah, there's a lot of these guys over here. What is this? Is this some kind of wreck? I think this is a wreck. Yeah, we've been here, haven't we? I'm pretty sure we came here in the last episode. Did we scan everything that can be scanned? I think so. Oh, I don't really want to go in there. Caves are not nice. Um, but I think we do have the copper we need. I think we do, at least. We're going to kind of look over this way. It's hard to see much of anything at night, though, so it's going to be really hard to see where the places that give us copper even are. <laughs> um, so we might need to be a little bit cautious with that, and it might be easier to search in the daytime. Is this something good? Nope, that is just a patch in the ground. Okay. Um, I don't think there's really any purpose in going down there. Have we been over here? I'm pretty sure we have. I'm just going to head back and see if we can craft our sea glide because I think that will help us. Um, and I, I, yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea because then we can actually see what we're doing because I'm pretty sure the thing has a flashlight on it. Uh, so let's come over here and, oops, we don't have, we had some copper ore hidden this way, I think. Yes, we do. All right, switch this over and we have the titanium. Let's use our fabricator. We can make a beacon. We need, okay, we need to make the wiring first. Oops, no, nope, let me, let me see this. Here we go. Yes, we can. All right, there we go. And we should be able to make the sea glide. Yes, okay, this is going to be really handy. This thing, uh, as much as I've played off camera in my own game, this thing, you really don't ever stop using it at all. Like, you, you, you keep using this throughout much of the game. Okay. So you can see it can actually give you a map of the surrounding area, which is really handy. It can also turn on a flashlight. And this thing is basically kind of... A, this thing you use constantly throughout pretty much the whole game, whether it's early game or even later game. This thing is going to be uh, of absolutely incredible help to us throughout our journey here. Um, so I, like I said, I played a little bit off, uh, off camera on my, not on this profile, but on a separate profile. I'm trying not to discover too much of the story on my own. I do want to share a lot of that with you guys, but it is, oh, it is nice to be able to kind of explore a little bit. Uh-oh. Um. That doesn't sound good. That, that really doesn't sound good. Uh, yeah, that could be a bad thing. So let's see if we can find any more of that, um, uh, any more of the, I think it's limestone outcroppings, uh, because those could be good. Okay, we have another biome down here as well. And yeah, okay. So what is this? Um, oh, it's quartz. Okay. So you can see, too, that the sea glide that we're using has power, and that's running down as we are uh, continuing to use it. So that's kind of how this is going to work. Uh-oh. Please tell me that's not something bad coming for me. Um, all right. Oh, 30 seconds of oxygen. Let's get out of here. Whoa, what was that? Was that a bad thing? What's going on down there? I see fighting. I see fighting. I see creatures getting injured, and that does not bode well for my presence. All right, let's come back down here. All right. I tend to turn off some of the extra features of the Sea Glide when it's not nighttime, because they do seem to drain battery pretty fast, but for now we're going to keep using them because, well, it's night and it's easier to see. This is the Creepvine area. Hmm... We want to be a little bit cautious over here because there can be bad things. But, yeah. As long as we're careful, I think we should be fine. Um... Oh, that's not something we want to... I think, is that... Did I see something? What over here, what I think I saw? I think so. Yes, that's not something we want to touch. Um, because it does that. And that's not nice. Uh, that's not something you want to have to deal with. Let's turn off the, uh, yeah, the display there because that'll save some power because we're already down quite a bit. Oh, I want, I want my copper before we have to go up here. All right. 
But what we want to do then is we want to get some silver. And I think, let's see, I think we can get silver if we go down to the red area that I was, uh, that I just went by. Oh, that's the bad thing. Uh, but if we go to that area, I think that's where you can start getting silver. I'm pretty sure that's down, like, I'm pretty sure silver is in rocks that are further down than the ones up here. Different resources seem to spawn at different heights, as far as I understand. So we're going to pop back here and see if there's anything we can drop off. I'm going to avoid those guys because they're not very nice. And, um... They're, I guess you consider them defensive. They don't outright attack you, but if you get too close, they will defend themselves. And that's not a fun thing. So we're going to come back up here and see if we can drop anything off inside. And uh, hopefully not have to be carrying around all of our possessions with us at all times. And let's not leave the light on. That's just not a good thing. Okay, let's drop some copper off. I'm going to take some of this because we are starting to run out of... Um, uh, we're starting to run out of hydration. And then I, I need to drop this off. I need to drop the uh, rotten boomerang off. And then, yeah, I think this will be good for now. Let's exit the escape pod. And then, no, I don't want all that on. I want you to turn off so that I'm not wasting power. But let's come this way. Because I think over here... It was right over here, right? Where this new biome is? Yes, down here. Oh, and that's a bad thing that just swum off to the, the right there. That's a bad news. There's several bad newses around here. That's another one over there. And right down there. Oh, nope. How about nope? Um, and these, it's going to be really annoying to get resources here until we get better oxygen. But we're just going to have to roll with it. Oh, these things are cool. I'm pretty sure they're not hostile, but they're cool. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see. I'm... Oh, there we go. Caves sound dangerous. Alright. I'm gonna try not to talk over the PDA, but again, there are uh, subtitles for if you, uh... If you want to read those. So let's see, this is limestone. This is what we've already been getting. So we just got titanium from that. And, um, ooh, you can hear the, I think, are they called reef backs? I think they're called reef backs. I know, like, again, like I said, I know some about this game. Can we scan it? I know some about this game, but I'm trying not to find out an excessive amount of the story elements beforehand. Yes, reef backs. Okay, wow, that looks really cool. And they don't- I'm pretty sure if they were hostile, I would have been attacked by now, so I don't think they're hostile. There we go. The reef backs. We now have an entry for that. There's like- oop, let's get our sea glide back. There's lots of quartz down here just laying around. But let's get up to the surface and get some air. I don't want to drain our sea glide battery too much if I can help it, but I think we're probably going to just over the course of dealing with this. So we need to make sure we're finding enough resources, pretty much. So is there anything around here? I'm looking for those little rocks to break. And for anything that might be trying to kill me. I think I might have just heard something that's trying to kill me. Nope, I don't think so. Okay. I get a little paranoid because this place is not very nice. That guy's not going to be nice, I don't think. Let's be careful as we come in here. That's limestone, so not really overly worth it. Okay, um, but I I want the titanium anyway. Oh, nope, 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 nope. All right, I'm gonna just come zooming by, grab that titanium, and then go up to get oxygen. I don't like those little guys. They they're kind of like piranhas. They will bite you, and they're not nice. So we really need to really need to stay away from them. And I don't want to be going around taking damage. I mean, I guess when it comes down to it, they're predators. They're doing what they were made to do, which is to hunt. But uh, I would really rather them not hunt me. So yeah. <laughs> um, this area. Ooh. Wow. Oh, that's no good. I think, what's this? 
Sandstone, yes, this it can be, I think, I think that can be where we might be able to get uh, silver some of the time. Okay, we need to go up, but we'll also have to come back down and see if we can get any more, um, anything more from that. It feels like my battery's draining really fast, but I don't know why. Um, I mean, we are using it quite a lot, it just, I don't know, I didn't think it went down that quickly. <laughs> um, where is our cave? We're right on top of it. Okay, good. And if we come over here, is there anything more we can break? Yes, there is. This is sandstone, and we got, I think that was copper. More sandstone? More sandstone. Silver, yes! Okay, we just need one more piece, I think. What are these? I don't actually know. It's not going to tell me either. Um, we're going to see... What's this? This is salt. Salt is good. All right. Is there anything else around here? Ow, those guys are attacking things. All right. Let's go up, and then we'll come back down. What is that sound? I don't really know what that sound is. I think it's just music, but... Sometimes the music in this does make spooky little sounds that leave you on the edge of your seat. It's kind of an eerie sort of, um... This whole, this whole game has a little bit of an eerie feel to it in some cases. And so it can be easy to get a bit jumpy. More silver, that's good. Is there anything more we can collect here? There's something up here. I want to get as much as I can while I'm here so that we don't have to go back a lot. Uh, well, we probably will have to come back here quite a bit, actually. But, so that we don't have to come back uh, a huge amount before we get a little bit more set up up there. Alright. Um, okay, we're gonna go back up. Anything more on here that I can break? I don't see anything. I think for the most part we should be good, and I think that's gonna be most of what we needed for the, um the wiring kit, which is what we've been trying to make. So let's head back if I can find my biome. Ooh, we are far away. All right, we're gonna head back this way and see if we can make that yet. I don't think we quite have all the supplies, but I don't remember it offhand. And I could probably check my PDA for that, couldn't I? Although I don't know what I have in inventory back at the base, so we're gonna need to go back there anyway. Uh, so let's just go see what we still need, and then we'll come back out here if we need to and hopefully we won't have to come all the way out this way but uh if we do we'll deal with it so let's just get back here if we can but you can see how much faster we're going now that we uh, have the sea glide with us so this thing is going to be a very very handy all-around tool um i'm going to quickly pop down here and see if i can find any rocks snow rocks um but maybe i'll grab mushrooms if i see them oh yes rocks there's a rock right here and that did give us copper. And then there's some mushrooms over here because I kind of want to make another battery. And I think we might need another battery anyway. Okay, swim to surface. All right, I will do that. Don't want to die here. Not today. Um, there's the pod. Okay, we should be able to get to that. Hopefully, yeah, we'll get here. We'll get here in a moment. All right. And if we manage to come down here and get in... Then we can take a look and see what we have. So we're trying to make the Habitat Builder. Can we? We can get another med kit, okay. You always want to collect those so that you have a stockpile for if you need them. Or probably not if you need them, but rather when you need them. Let's look at tools. So we need a wiring kit, a computer chip, and a battery. So we do need to make another battery. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. And then we can make a wiring kit, but we need table coral and a copper wire. Okay, let's make that. And hopefully we'll have enough to make a battery, too. We don't. Okay, we need more copper. We can make the wiring kit. And we need a table coral sample. And then we'll also need some more copper. Do we have any more copper stored away? Oh, we do! Okay, we have enough copper, then. I'm gonna grab all of this. And then I'm gonna put away... What am I gonna put away? Um... I'm gonna drink some water. And then, ooh, I didn't need to drink that much. And then we'll take some more. I keep forgetting to drop that decomposing thing out. Um, and then let's see here. If we go ahead and we should be able to make... What do we need? All right, we need a battery. I'm actually going to make two batteries. 
because I want to have an extra one for the sea glide. And then I'm probably going to cook some other... I'm going to cook my peeper here. And we should be able to uh, eat this guy for some nutrients. And is this guy still worth... Oh, no. Nope, that's completely rotten. There's no point whatsoever in eating him. So we're going to uh, completely just drop him here. There we go. And goodbye rotten food. So that's why I don't cook my food beforehand. It doesn't keep as well. And what we need to do is, is this table coral, uh, coral shell plate, I think it's this, right? Yes. So what we're going to do is then we're going to hack away at it like this. And um, I, I don't recommend doing this to the ecosystem. This is generally not a good way of handling nature. But in this scenario, we are stranded and alone and we need to uh, survive. So our very survival depends on us using the ecosystem to our advantage. A uh, good rule of thumb though is if you don't have a reason to go destroying nature, don't go destroying nature. Um, and let's take a look here. If we use our fabricator, we should be able to make the computer chip. And with the computer chip, we should be able to make, where is it? No, it's in on here. Um, not the scanner, but the habitat builder. So this is going to be another important tool of the trade because this is going to allow us to build our own house, basically. So what I'm gonna do is I kind of want to rearrange this. I'm gonna put my knife here. That, that's pretty good order. I'm gonna swim out here now too because we need to find a place that we want to put our base. And man, I am just full of accidental rhymes today. Uh, but what I wanted to do was hopefully not have to deal with this in the dark, but I think I'm gonna have to deal with it in the dark. And, oh gracious, where did I want to... Uh, I can actually see where I'm going, and that would be nice. Is it nighttime? Is it nighttime? Or what? Oh! Oh, it's an eclipse! Okay, we actually had an eclipse in real life the other night. Um, so that's actually, that's good for us too, because that means we won't have to worry about um, having everything uh, be super dark when we're trying to build. So what we've got to do is, I think, I'm going to build up here. This is kind of close, well, this is kind of close to these guys. I don't actually want to build here, I think. I'm going to build over here a little ways. And that'll hopefully be a bit better. Where can we build that be nice? If that was flatter. Actually, this is a nice flat area. I think we're going to start building here, probably. So, let's see. So, what we want to do is switch to our habitat builder. And I think we'll start off by creating a foundation. So, foundations are a nice starting point. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not sure I can really afford to do that. I, I'm just trying to survive, but at least I'm getting exercise while I'm doing it, right? Um, okay, so basically what I'm doing, what is that? We'll have to check that out in a minute here. Uh, but what, I, what I'm, um, what I'm doing here is I'm putting down a foundation, and that... I don't think you have to have one, but I can build on top of this now. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to put an X compartment, and I'll put that here. Because this will just be a good starting place. And then what I'll do is, I'll put in a hatch right here. And, oh, what do we need for that? We need quartz. Do we not have the titanium? What do we not have? We don't have the titanium right. Oh, okay. So what we got to do then is, before we can get inside of this, the base here, before we can go in there, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to make, or we'll have to get some, we'll have to get some more titanium. And I want to check, is it telling us we have, we have a radio message. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. So. Okay. So it did tell me before, I think, 
that it, I think didn't it tell us that there were zero life signs detected? What is it telling us here? Okay, so it, it logs everything you have written here, by the way. But I thought it said. Okay, hold on. Um. All right, where zero human life signs detected. So I don't know if this means that maybe they're just really far away or if that's an old message. So in any case, we ought to check that out when we get the chance. Um, I was gonna make titanium from the scrap metal and we're gonna finish up our base before I, um, before I head out here because it is almost time to wrap up the episode. Oh no, where is the base? Oh my gosh, you scared me. You just suddenly right in my face. Um, oh, okay. Crew reported their sea glide damaged. Okay, we'll have to check that out next time. Where did I put... Okay, if I look for the, the freaky manatee things right there, then that should give us good indication of... Our base is right here. Okay, so we should be able to finish this. There we go. And then can we build... We have to power this thing now. We don't have enough quartz, so let's see if we can get some quartz really quick somewhere. Is there quartz anywhere near here? Um, there's got to be quartz somewhere. Quartz, unfortunately, is usually found in caves, which means you have to deal with nasty little creeper fish. I call them creeper fish because they blow up like creepers. That's not their actual name. And right now it's escaping me. Although maybe we can find some down here on the seafloor. Oh my, no. How about no? Oh, hey, no. And I got to get to the surface. Okay, uh-oh. Oh, 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 please no. Okay. Oh, we made it just in the nick of time. So that nasty thing that attacked us is a stalker. They're not friendly. <laughs> um, they, they are very aggressive. And I think this is quartz. Yes, okay, let's get- <gasps> Holy nope! Oh, nope, 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 nope. That is a nope fish. Uh, that is a nope fish. I want nothing to do with him. We're going to come back over here, finish up our base, and then I'm going to wrap up for today. But let's go ahead and just slap a door, or when you have the door. Um. Wait. Are you telling me it's going to blow up? Um, well, that's no good. Uh, hopefully we have the materials for this. I think we do, yes. And it's nighttime. So we're just gonna go back to our pod for now. And, I mean, the aurora sounds like it's gonna blow up anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna end out in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so things are kind of going a little bit south in a little bit looking, they're both looking up and looking down in many ways. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay over and out.